Hi, I'm Mr Williams, and in, in addition to being the instrumental music coordinator, I also teach violin and viola at East Doncaster Secondary College. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the violin and the viola. Um, obviously, they're very similar instruments. Once you've learnt how to play one, you know how to play the other automatically. Uh, the viola is a little bit bigger than the violin, uh, so I'll give you a comparison very shortly. But um, this is a violin. This is a full-size violin, and the Violins and violas all come in a range of sizes for, um, for different size students. Generally speaking, um, if you are on the smaller side, probably a violin is a better pick. If you know that you're going to be tall down the track, um, viola players tend to be a little bit bigger. But as I said, they do come in a range of sizes, so that's not so much an issue as it was as it used to be in the past. So all the string instruments, violin, viola, cello and bass are, work in a similar way. We have a bow uh, with horse, uh, horse tail hair on the bow and we put rosin on the horse hair to make it sticky and then we draw the bow along the string which causes a vibration uh, which then travels down into the body of the instrument and creates, some, creates a nice sound that comes out these holes here. So you'll see these uh, similarities between the violin, the viola, cello and the double bass all work acoustically the same way. So there are a number of different ways we can play the violin. Um, we normally associate violin with classical music, uh, hearing music such as... That's a very famous song that everybody knows. Um, but we also hear violin used in uh, folk music, Celtic music. And uh, folk blending into pop and rock music. Sometimes we hear string instruments in pop music as well. And there are a number of different ways, as I said, that we can play the string instruments. So bowing, when we bow on the strings, that's called arco. We can pits or pizzicato with our right hand or a combination of right and left. Uh, we'll sometimes hear tremolo, often used in movie soundtracks. And then there are other various combinations of hitting and tapping and uh, all sorts of spooky sounds that we can get on, the, on all the string instruments. So that's the violin. Let's compare that with the viola now. Now, this is a little bit of a small viola for somebody of my size. This is a 15 inch viola. The violin's 14 inches, a full size violin but we can see that that's just a little bit taller than the viola than the violin. So this is a 15 inch. Um, violas go all the way up to 17 inches, but also can go down to violin size of 14 inches. And it is possible to actually string up a violin with viola strings and get a, a violin sized viola. So as I said, they come in all different shapes and sizes. So the viola is played exactly the same as the violin, uh, but is a lower instrument. So it's great for people who aren't so keen on the high, somewhat screechy nature of the violin. So the viola sounds like this. So that's the lowest string on the viola. It goes, it goes quite low. Um, it has the same strings as the cello, actually. Um, so a really lovely instrument for people who like the lower mellow sounds.
and all the same playing techniques apply to the viola that apply to the violin. So we can have pizzicato. And of course the viola can also go up quite high. Um, we can get up quite high. Not as high as we can on the violin, but um, occasionally the, the viola is required to play up nice and high. More often it's featured in the, in the lower register though, again for people who like those lower sounds. So that's the violin and the viola.